I just talked to Byron Scott a few moments ago and asked him what's happening with Kenyon Martin, who has no points, and Kerry Kittles, Keith Van Horn with two points only, and he said he doesn't believe that they're overwhelmed by the situation, but he says his real problem is a lack of rebounding. He said that's why Jason Kidd has not been able to push the ball up the court like we've seen him do all throughout the playoffs. So the New Jersey Nets focusing on rebounding and, of course, their signature defense. Let's get down to Jim Gray. All right, thank you, Lewis. I spoke to a number of the players as they came out for the Lakers. They said that Phil Jackson told them that things came too easy. They need to work much harder here to regain the momentum here in the third quarter. He warned them, as he always does, of being lackadaisical coming out in the third quarter. It has been historically throughout the season their worst quarter. He says they're beating us on hustle plays. Don't let down at all. Don't be satisfied. Mark? All right, thanks, Jim. Well, Robert Ory came out aggressive as he was able to pick up his second block shot. Derek Fisher, Kobe Bryant in the backcourt. Fisher has regained the touch. Shaquille O'Neal is up front with Rick Fox and, and Robert Ory setting the nets. And Jason Kidd and Kerry Kittles at the guards. Kenny Martin, Todd McCullough, Keith Van Horn up front. You can see the swing in this game. Ory with, with the steal. Robert Ory is such a cerebral player. Kenyon Martin has got to start thinking out there. Can't use back to the basket moves. And the Lakers have taken a 52-36 lead. The challenge for Kenyon Martin to elevate his game. Not be about jumping high, running fast, and physically punishing players, but by being in the right spot at the right time and executing. Here's Ken McCullough. Aha, uh -huh, Todd. Throw it down. Good hands of Todd McCullough. Surprising a couple of Lakers getting to the ball. And the Laker lead is now 14. So McCullough has eight points, five rebounds. Shot clock, down to six. Fisher to O'Neal. Saw Shaq had position, but not able to hit. A little bit out of sync offensively that time. Nice push of the ball. Can Van Horn finish? Finally, the guy only had two points on one for six shooting before that fortuitous shot. Well, Van Horn hitting the three, and now the crowd becoming interested. As the Nets have moved within 11, they've trailed by as many as 23. O'Neal squeezing his way, and he is fouled. We call the Nets blew a 26-point lead in the Eastern Conference Finals, down by as many as 21. In the fourth quarter, the Celtics able to come back. Nets went 52 and, and 30 during the regular season, best record in. In the East, 52 wins, the most in the history of the franchise. In the playoffs, they beat Indiana three games to two in a grueling first-round series that knocked off Charlotte in five in the conference semifinals and then beat the Celtics in six in the Eastern Conference final series. Well, even that doesn't go right for New Jersey as they finally get Shaq to miss a free throw. Lane violation. But everything about New Jersey this year, Marv, has been the best in franchise history. Tom McCullough called on the, the violation, and the Nets have made the playoffs for the first time since back in 97 98 season. In fact, though, the Nets are the first team since the playoffs expanded to 16 teams in 83 84 to reach the finals one season after fairly to make the playoffs. Keith Van Horn with his second straight three, and the Laker lead is now 10. Started to take matters into his own hand, Van Horn. Now you got to get this thing from Kerry Kittles. With the snap and the facial. Oh my gosh. Throw it down, Kobe. Throw it down. Lakers 56, the Nets 44. We played three minutes in the third. Van Horn trying to shake off Fox, throw it away. Kobe Bryant in the open floor looking at Todd McCullough. McCullough is slow to move to the ball. He's slow to get off the floor. And when that is the case, you are going to get posterized time and time again. You got to come out and attack the guy who's coming at you. Bryant stopped by Kittle. Oh, nice play by Kerry Kittles and last touched by Kobe Bryant. That last turnover by Keith Van Horn. 
He has to drive the ball not at his man, but at Jason Kidd's man. That is what's going to create the double team. That's what's going to create the opening for someone. And Horn with a hot hand, so they set him up again. A cover keeps it alive. Another terrific defensive play by Robert Ory. He's had only two steals and a block shot in the first three minutes of the third quarter. And the ball back to New Jersey. Robert Ory is one of those guys who will beat you any way. He beat you with his offense, with his defense, with his rebounding, with his block shots, with his passing. What a team player. What a find to get this guy and team him up with Shaquille O'Neal. It's having difficulty finding a shot. And they get bailed out on the foul. Foul called on Fox. That's his first. The problem is, though, that the Knicks are trying to post up. Todd McCullough. He's not a guy who you can run an offense through. That's got to be either Van Horn, Kittles, Martin, or Jason Kidd. McCullough is a finisher, not a creator. Kidd. Well, Jason Kidd is hitting the jumper. He now has 13, and the Laker lead is 10. Now Fisher played on a switch by Martin. Nice play by Kidd. The Nets much more aggressive coming out here in the second half. Foul is called on Fox. Remember when Charles Barkey was talking about the deer in the headlight syndrome that Byron Scott denied to Lewis Johnson, but this is a different team we're seeing here in the second half. Jason Kidd, Van Horn, and come out and said, you know what? We stunk it up in the first half. This is the real New Jersey Net team. Well, the Nets came out so passive in that the first half. It's too easy for the Lakers. Todd McCullough, five for seven from the field, 10 points, and that lead once 23 is down to eight, and Phil Jackson calls for time. And if Kenyon Martin will continue to face the basket and create opportunities for his teammates, the penetration, the defense is frozen, and then McCullough can finish in this situation. When Martin gets his back to the basket, that he really gets in trouble against Robert Ory, who towers over him. Success of the Nets this season, pulling off one of the incredible turnarounds in the history of professional sports. 26 wins a year ago. They go 52 and 30, best record in the Eastern Conference. They win the Atlantic Division, first time in the history of the team. And it's their first ever NBA Finals appearance. It all starts and ends with Jason Kidd. And the beauty of his game is that he finds a way to win. Like Magic Johnson, his idol. Todd McCullough, Keith Van Horn have come alive here. With McCullough setting hypo screens, Shaq's not going to come out. McCullough's got 10 points, 7 rebounds, 5 on the offensive end. Shaq with only 18 points. That has been... By this comparison, pretty much of a wash in the middle. Was it too loose and easy for the Lakers at the start? Absolutely, and they've lost their focus, their concentration, and determination. But Robert Ory continues to be outstanding. He's got points, five rebounds, four assists, three steals, two blocks. What can't this guy do to help his team win ball games? Robert Ory, maybe the major reason is Kidd is able to hit again. Well, the big reason that the Lakers are in the NBA Finals, that game-winning three and game four against Sacramento turned turn the series around.